Hi everyone, I'm Tom, and today's daily rant is about the NHL or National Hockey League. Now I'm a big time fan of hockey. My wife, four sons, daughter, and daughter-in-law all love to go see hockey on the ice. Now, I'm a lifelong Pittsburgh Penguin fan, as well as my entire family. I've seen games all across the United States, and I believe that hockey is the most exciting sport that there is. It's fast paced, includes hitting, fighting, scoring, passing, superior skills that you don't see in other sports. It's just awesome. I was waiting with great anticipation for the start of this year's season, and I was not happy to hear that the owners decided to lock the players out from playing. Last year, the great powers to be in the NHL decided to lock the players out if they did not have a new collective bargaining agreement in place prior to the season starting. So no hockey. Then the two sides met to start hammering out an agreement, and all I heard as a fan was, blah, blah, blah. I want more money, or I want to spend less money. Then it was, you're not being fair, or you're not telling the truth. And, well, it sounded like two kids fighting in the sandbox at the playground over the shovel. The owners cried that they were losing money because of high salaries. Remember, they're the ones that gave the players those salaries. They also said the players were getting too much of the total revenues that the league made. The owners wanted to have longer control over players that they drafted for less player turnover. Finally, the owners wanted to change existing contracts that were in place so the new salary cap that would be agreed on would be easier to meet. The players then stated that they were not getting their fair share of the money, so the tit for tat started. They haggled over, over how many years a new player would have to play for their team before they could look elsewhere for a job. The players complained that the owners did not want to honor contracts that had just been signed this year and now a new salary cap would force some of these contracts to be changed. All in all, both sides failed to realize that both were on the losing side, missing almost half the season which included the Outdoor Classic game, the All-Star game, meant that tickets were not being sold, hockey merchandise was sitting idle in stores, and the fans were just getting angry. I know. No one was making any money during this time. Now, I wanted to take my family to a Penguins game in late December while my sons were home from the Army and college. This did not happen. So instead, I took my family to an AHL game in Hershey. Not the same level of players, but it gave me a fix for the time. Now, over this weekend, the two groups finally decided on an agreement. Now, I will attend a game or two because I'm a true fan. Will I still complain about the two groups and their terrible decisions? Yes, I will. This is the third time that the NHL has had a stoppage and one year was completely lost since Bettman took charge. Maybe these sides need to find a new people that can sit in a room and get a contract figured out without stepping on the fans. The deal got done only when a mediator shuttled between two groups that were just blocks apart in buildings. It just goes to show you that you do not have to be face to face blaming the other side to come up with a deal. Maybe our government should try this method. Now, let's drop the puck and let's play some hockey. Tomorrow's episode is about cell phones at dinner. This is Tom Williams and I'm out of here.